one of the questions that we get asked a lot is how can I help my audience? How can I get my audience to see the value of my offer, to see that my program, my services is absolutely the next best step for them? Okay. In today's episode of PETD, I'm going to share with you the top two most important elements to include inside of your offer to talk about when you're talking about your offer to get more of your audience to see the value and the urgency to come join your program, your services, and to make that investment. First things first, guys, subscribe and tap that little bell below so you never miss an episode or the opportunity to learn simple sales strategies to take your leads from cold to close and finally master sales online. My name is Ann Keeney. I'm a sales ninja and marketing mentor for high achieving female coaches and BAs that want to ditch that hustle and they want to have six figure scale in their online businesses by mastering their sales. So a question we hear quite often in the industry and in our community in the coaching and BA space is how do I, with all the noise and all the other people around, how do I get my audience to see that my program, my offer, my services is the next best step for them. How do I get them to a place of wanting to invest in, in my program or services? So number one, we wanna talk about two of the most important elements, guys, for your offer. Now, many times when I talk to people in our community and I ask them, tell me about your offer, right? Tell me what is your offer about? A lot of the times they go into, well, I help people uh, be happy and I help them with um, you know, fulfillment and I help them have joy in their life and I help them get stuff done or I help them lose weight or I help them make more money. And I get a lot of that. And then I get Okay, cool. So like, what is your program? Tell me about your program. Um, like, sell it to me. And a lot of the times I hear, well, you know, you get 45 minute sessions once a week. I have a bunch of checklists. There's like 300 downloads. Um, they get put into a membership and they're going to get audios and they're going to get this and they're going to get that. And I have these bonuses. And we go on and on and on and on and on about features and bonuses and tangibles that people don't care about. Right? We are a selfish, uh, you know, economy. Let's just be real about that. We are selfish. When we are making an investment, it is about us. We only care about us. We don't care about how awesome the person is, how cool the program is, all the bells and the whistles. We don't care how many testimonials you have, although all that stuff is very helpful. It's not what gets someone to buy, right? We buy because someone has a solution to something that is very important to us that we solve or that we avoid, okay? So we're going to buy from people, people buy from people. And so when we're talking about our offers, when we're talking about our services and we're trying to get our audience, uh, the right people to make that investment, to make that decision and see our offer as the solution to the pressing priority problem that they want solved right away. The two most important things that you wanna talk about is number one, the experience. What is the experience? Now, I always use this analogy with my clients of uh, booking a flight. If you go to an airline and you book a flight and you're going to a destination that you have been dreaming of going to your entire life, right? You board the plane and the second you board that plane, there's nothing but delays and problems and turbulence and they're out of your favorite drink and the kids are screaming and there's nothing for them to snack on and like it's an absolute mess and like let's just say the experience to that destination is awful. First of all, you're never going to book with them again. You're going to be super stressed out when you get to your destination. You'll be very unhappy. Even though you got to your destination, you're very unhappy. You're very stressed out. You're exhausted. You're tired. You don't ever want to experience that again. You're never going to book a flight with them again. You're not telling your friends about them. In fact, you're going to tell your friends, stay away from them. It was awful, right? The experience was crappy. So you're not going to do it again, even though it got you to your destination. So when you think about your clients working with you, what is the experience? What happens as soon as they make their payment? What happens as soon as that financial transaction hits your bank account? What happens next? Many times it's clients are just kind of sitting there. They're waiting. They're sitting around like, what do I do now? And they're getting buyer's remorse. They're feeling like maybe I made a mistake. Nobody's reaching out. When do we get started? What happens next? What happens now? Right. And then sometimes in your program, in your services, in your packages, you don't really show up and serve your client. Right. The experience for the other person that made the investment is not so good. Right. They feel like they're not being supported. Their questions are not getting answered. You're not, you know, uh, tailoring things or customizing things for them. Maybe they feel like they're not getting the support that they need to work through your program and get to them to get to the win. The experience is everything. So what are you including in your experience to make it pleasurable, to make it desirable, to make it um, exceptional for your client? 
so that they want to stick around. So they want to stay in the program. They want to continue to renew with you and continue to work with you. And they want to give you a testimonial. And they want to tell their friends about you. They want to tell all of, all of their friends, if you want to accomplish X, go to this person right here. Go to you. Because, oh, my God, the experience is amazing. You need to think about what does that need to look like? What can you include inside of your program? What can you include inside of your package, your onboarding enrollment, and your delivery system? Your onboarding, enrollment, and delivery system. What does it look like? What can you include in there that's going to give them an exceptional experience that nobody else has given them that keeps them wanting to stick around? That is number one, because people want to know what the experience is going to be. Right? When people say, well, what is in this for me? What am I going to get? They're not talking about the features. It's the experience that they're talking about. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, the second most important element transformation, the outcome, the win, the win, the result. We invest for the win. Okay? Now, rather it's money, rather it's health, rather it's um, emotional well being, mental well being, physical well being, business, personal, doesn't matter. We are investing in a win. This is where that selfishness comes in of what's in it for me. I'm here to get what I want, right? So how are you going to help me? What does that look like? You need to know the exact process you're going to take your clients through to get them to the win that they are saying they want and that they're invested in. When they give you their money, they're investing in something that you said you'll help them accomplish. So how are you going to get them there? And then how is how, how are you going to talk about that so that they can understand that that's what you're going to help them do? A lot of times when I ask people, what do you help your clients do? I help them be happy or I help them be healthy. I help them lose weight. I help them get clients and make money. I help them feel fulfilled. I help them get a job. I help them with more joy in their life. These are not things that we're going to buy. It's not clear. It's not concrete. It's not tangible. We need an actual outcome. What is the result I'm walking away with, right? Another analogy I always use my clients is people are not going to invest in your weight loss program. Nobody just wants to lose weight, right? They could do that for free. There's plenty of YouTube videos. There's plenty of videos and trainings and free stuff out there that will show you how to lose weight. There's something deeper they want. Why do they want to lose weight? right? It could be that they're getting married in six months and they want to get in that dream dress. It could be that they have young children and they are watching out the window, their kids play because they cannot go out there and run around with them without getting out of breath and practically passing out. Or maybe they've lost a loved one in their family due to some kind of hereditary disease and they want to avoid that. There could be a slew of reasons, but what your job is as the business owner, as the expert in your niche is to identify what is the deeper meaning and why behind why people are making investments, right? People are not just investing just to lose weight. If you don't hit those emotional tri triggers and those touch points, you're probably not gonna convert as many of the sales as you could be if you niche down, got more specific, and you focused on transformation. People want specific transformation. Enjoy, happiness, love, health, wealth is not gonna cut it. We gotta get down to the root. So when you're mapping out your offer and your program, I want you to think experience, transformation. Those are the two most important things. Once you get your people to buy in on that transformation, and that and that experience to that transformation once you get them to buy into that then you can talk about your features then you can share with them this is what it's going to look like this is what we'll do here's what you get here's all the sessions like you know you're going to get videos and chocolate but that stuff is not the things that you want to lead with and talk about and focus on in the forefront of your marketing or your sales conversations get your people to buy in on the experience and the transformation first and then say, what questions do you have? That's where they'll say, oh my God, this is amazing. So when do we start? What do I get? What does it look like? And that's when you can start to say, cool, here's what you get. Then you can talk about the features, okay? All right, guys. So that's what I want to talk about today on the PE TV. Um, I guess that I will see you on another episode, I hope. And here's the thing. I want you to go look. I want you to look at what is your experience? What is the transformation? But here's the important thing. How are you articulating that to your audience? Okay, how are you articulating this? How are you talking about this to them? Because if they don't understand it and you're not articulating it so they can understand it, they're probably not going to make the investment, right? They're probably going to feel like this sounds great, but like I'm not getting it, right? Like I don't see it as a solution for me or the experience that I want to have. Okay, so go do a, a check in, go do a temperature check on this.